Merck has a near 130-year legacy of developing vaccines and is one of those companies. Merck. So Ken, can you talk us through where Merck is in this process, your mm -hmm. timeline, and tell us about the different vaccines and therapeutics in development? Sure, I'm happy to. Let me start by saying, because this is a brand new virus, we've spent a lot of time on fundamental biology. That is to understand how this virus produces disease inside the body, the impacts that it has on the body, because that helps us to think about the desirable characteristics that we would have for a vaccine. So the vaccines that we are working on, and we're working on two different vaccines, have the following characteristics. First of all, both vaccines are based on proven platforms that have already demonstrated efficacy and safety. One is based on a modified measles virus platform, and measles vaccines have been used in billions of people safely. The other one is based on a vesicular stomatitis virus vaccine, which is one that we just deployed effectively in Africa and in the Democratic Republic of the Congo with the recent outbreaks on Ebola. So we know these are two proven platforms that are safe and effective. Secondly, and importantly, they offer the promise of effectiveness with a single dose. And that's very desirable when you're talking about a global emergency program. If you have to use more than one dose, you have challenges around compliance, you have challenges around how quickly you can cause a community to be protected, and you have challenges around distribution, storage, et cetera. The last thing, of course, is can these feasibly be manufactured at scale? And both of these vaccines are vaccines that we have experience with, but the scale is far beyond any vaccine we've ever contemplated. The most widely distributed vaccine in the world is influenza vaccine. And there's two, mil, two, two billion doses that are distributed every year. Now we're talking about protecting seven and a half billion people on the earth from this terrible virus. And I like to say that until all of us are safe, none of us are safe. 